Today in this 2001 Dodge 1500 Ram pickup, we're going to install brake controller part number 90885, the Prodigy P2 brake controller, and also we'll be using part number ETBC7 for the installation kit. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and attach our bracket to the hitch for our wire harness. Next, we part number 118140. There's not much to work with the hitch here, so we're going to put it on the end at this point. Let's go ahead and tighten down the clamp. And then we'll install our bracket from the ETBC7 kit onto this bracket. All right, now we're gonna do some prep work on our wire harness. We're gonna run the gray cable to our seven pole harness and we're gonna connect the wires up. Then we can go ahead and install the whole assembly onto the vehicle. What we're gonna do is actually just wind this up in electric tape and leave our leads out that we need. We'll leave a four pole sticking out and we're gonna need a brake wire, which is gonna be blue and our black wire for 12 volt power supply. And then we'll just wrap up our purple and white wire. Our white wire is gonna direct us to a frame for ground. And then the purple wire is gonna be for reverse lights if it's ever needed. And to our black and blue wires, we're gonna install a gray cable which has the black and white wires inside of it. What we're gonna do is just peel away the gray sheath, and strip the wires back and make our connection. And we're gonna go black to black and white to blue. those up with some electric tape. Next we'll go ahead and install the loom along the wires like this. Let's go ahead and install our wire harness into the bracket. We'll go ahead and take our four pole harness from the truck, run into our adapter, put a little dielectric grease in there to help protect it since it'll be a permanent connection at this point. And we're going to zip tie around it to make sure it stays together. We'll take our wire with the ring terminal and that'll be our ground for our connector. We're going to run that up to the frame. Now we'll go ahead and continue to run a gray cable up to the front of the truck. Just make sure we stay away from anything moving like the suspension components or anything hot like the exhaust. The same thing applies when we run up behind the firewall up towards the battery. Let's go take our cable we're going to pull it up. We'll run our length of wire up to our positive terminal on a battery, and then we'll cut off our excess. You also want to leave some slack in there also for room for the circuit breakers. We're going to mount those right here. Once we have our length established, we'll go ahead and zip tie our wires, make sure everything is safe and secure. And now we'll take our cable, we're going to split the sheath all the way back to where we're going to install our circuit breakers. We'll use black wire for our 40 amp circuit breaker for 12 volt power supply out back. Our white wire will be ran to the inside of the cab, so this will connect to the blue wire on our brake controller output. Let's take our wires and set them out of the way for now. Let's go ahead and install our first circuit breaker. We'll go ahead and cut our wire. We're going to strip both ends and put a ring terminal on both ends. Our output going to our seven pole connector will go to the silver post and our other end with the copper post will go out to our battery. Okay, to the other end of our wire, we're going to install our larger ring terminal and then we'll go ahead and route that to a positive side of the battery. Now we won't actually hook it up, we'll leave that as one of the last things we do. Now we're going to find a place to run our white wire into the cab. Okay, now we found this grommet right here on the firewall. We're just going to make a slit in the center of it so we can run our wires through. Let's take a wire and pull it out. We'll leave that wire alone for now. Now we're also going to need some running some wires for our brake controller power. If you remember we have that extra leftover wire, we're going to use that to go from the brake controller back out to the circuit breaker and the battery. We're going to take a wire, we'll make sure we have enough length to go to our circuit breaker, which we mounted right here. I'll we'll run our length up to the negative side of the battery as well as the positive terminal. And also make sure we have enough length to go out back towards our brake controller. So at this end of the wire by our battery, we're going to strip it back and just route our wires to our terminals. Since we know where our wires are going to go, we can go ahead and just secure them. And then to both ends of our wires, we'll add ring terminals.
instead of a terminal, we're actually gonna hook up to this ground wires coming directly off the terminal instead. Okay, next we'll go ahead and install our second circuit breaker. In this case, we'll be using the 20 amp circuit breaker. It can depend on how big of a trailer, and how many axles you have on your trailer determines what circuit breaker you're gonna use. In this case, we'll be using 20. We'll go ahead and split the sheath right here and pull out our black wire and make our connections to the circuit breaker. Right, now we're back inside the cab of the truck. We'll go ahead and connect our wires that we ran from the outside in to our wire harness that'll go to our brake controller. We'll start with our gray cable first. Our gray cable is our positive negative connection for our brake controller. So we're gonna match those up color for color. Okay, that's settled. Now we'll go back to our, our single white wire. Remember that runs to our blue wire on our seven pole and that will run to our blue wire on our brake controller. All right, we'll go ahead and tape up our wires, make them nice and neat. And then we'll go ahead and start working our connection for our red wire. That'll go to the cold side of our brake switch. This is our brake light switch right here. And basically we're gonna follow our wires down and we're gonna split the, the sheath over the top of it and pull out a wire to test. Now typically it's going to be white with a tan stripe. So we're gonna be using a quick connector, connect our red wire to the cold side of the brake switch, which is white with the tan stripe. Our wire harness is all hooked up now. Now we've got to find a spot for our brake controller. And this is a nice flat area right here, and we can still open up our compartment. We're gonna attach it right here with a couple of self-tapping screws. We'll run our cable through our pocket. Take our brake controller, plug it into the back, and just snap it into place. All right, now we'll take our remaining wire and zip tie it safe out of the way. Last thing we gotta do is go ahead and hook up our two power wires. we we'll straight to the battery, and we're gonna use another nut on top of this, and this will be a six millimeter nut with a 1.0 thread pitch. All right, we got two dots that lets us know we have power. And with that, that'll finish it for our install part number 90885 to Prodigy P2 brake controller and the ETPC7 kit.